Hello sea stars and welcome back to the channel. On today's video we are going to be doing my love spell soap for the month of February. So you guys saw me make the love spell bath bombs which came out gorgeous. Now I have to make the matching soap for it. I went all out for the month of February because that is birthday month. I love anything gold, shimmery, and well that's what we're going to do today. Let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to do is work on the embeds for the top of the soap. I started off with a melt and pour soap base that I make. To the melt and pour soap, add mica to it. If you want to get rid of the air bubbles that come to the surface or disperse, help disperse your mica, just spritz alcohol to the top and it will help you with that. So I'm using this mold. I'm not sure where I got this mold. I believe it was Wholesale Supplies Plus. I could be wrong. I don't know but I want to make it look like there's um, gemstones on top. If you haven't worked with melt and pour before, you know, don't feel bad if the first time you do it, you fail. So I think it's because I make my base that mine acts a little funny. I can't have the AC on and it solidifies on me super fast. I love adding embeds to my soap. These came out so nice. And if you guys are wondering, it took about maybe 10 minutes for it to solidify. I do not put any fragrance oil, which can cause them to sweat. And I do use them within an hour after making. So I have my Lye Water Solution. I'm gonna pour into my oils and I have my towel and clay already mixed in with my oils already. And of course, we're gonna burp the blender. And I kind of have it at a medium light trace. I do have some colors I want to put in here. some colors that I mixed up earlier and just put in a little bit of oil so I'm gonna put it in here it's gonna be my rose gold color this one I'm gonna do a pink and there's no reason for me to do a uh, titanium dioxide my uh, batter gets pretty white so I'm gonna leave this as my white set let me get the base going here at least with some fragrance oil Go ahead and blend that in. And the fragrance oil I'm using is Love Spell. Pour that in. Kind of about like halfway. Yeah, I'm gonna mix in these colors before I get started. Pour in the remainder of my fragrance oil. Work it in here. This pink is more like a purple now. So I'm gonna start off with now as you can see it's setting up pretty fast, which is okay. Cause I'm still gonna be able to do what I want. I just hate that it changed this to purple. And I'm gonna do one last layer. Kind of see if I can get everything out here. And we're gonna goop some white up here. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I'm gonna go in and see if I can do my little figure eight. I'm gonna make this a little bit more even. I'm piping the top so it's not gonna matter what this layer really looks like. I'm gonna slam this on my other counter and be right back. Okay, I'm gonna let this set up and then I'm gonna work on the frosting. Now, I'm not gonna be able to do the striped look I was looking for. This is why we do test batches. So I need to up my oils for piping. But, I'm going to see if I could just do kind of just one side, one color, and then get 
this one on the other side. And then I want to do, of course, white in the middle. And I normally don't do frosting for this fragrance. This is just my scent of the month for February. And I try to do those more artisan-like, more fancy piping. Okay, so it's pretty much set up where I want it to be. And I'm just gonna start piping in the middle until all my colors come out. Ooh, it's been forever since I piped. And if you wanna like rotate the colors, just twist the piping around. And it's starting to get a little runny on me at the end, so I'm trying to be careful. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in a little bit of the spaces. It did not turn out how I wanted to, so on the fly, I'm gonna add a little bit of shimmer to this. I normally would use a smaller tea thing, but I cannot find it right now. So this will do, and this, yeah. Okay, this is more along of what I was kind of going for. I did these bath bombs, so I needed to match the bath bombs. I should have did the soap first, but you know. Right, now that we got some shimmer going, I am going to add embeds to this. Now, these embeds I did earlier today. I thought it'd be easy using tongs, but apparently not. You know what? I'm gonna switch gloves. Okay, much better. <laughs> sometimes with the big gloves I could do it, sometimes not. I just hate using gloves because I just feel like it's so wasteful. So I like the rubber gloves for soaping better. But it's okay. And my embeds are a little off with my lines on the side here. And I have a note for that, so sorry for those of you that are a little OCD. And I'm gonna add these to the side as well. I'm a bit extra, so I'm going to add some drizzle to this, just like little splats, nothing, nothing real big. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, you gotta go all out, right? We're gonna let this sit for about 24 hours. And yeah, we're gonna do the cut. Okay, so I'm gonna mold this guy. And should come apart fairly easily. It looks so pretty. I really need to get off the pinks because I feel like I do pink and purple soaps way more, but they're so worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a sliver off my ends here. I'm gonna just flip this over. Beautiful on the inside, even though that color turned purple. Um, it still looks okay. It's kind of what I was going for. It definitely accelerated more than I wanted it to, but overall, I'm definitely happy with it. Came out beautifully. For future reference, I'm just not going to possibly add fragrance oil to the colorant and use less of the colorant, if that makes sense to anybody. I'm really happy with it. This is a Valentine's Day themed soap, um, but I want to be able to sell this all year round. I don't want to be stuck with like hearts all year round, that's why I use the hexagons. You know, I always plan for the worst for some reason, but I've launched my store three times and <laughs> and sold out all three times. I just think I need to have more confidence and just go for it. That is just something I need to work on this year, just having more confidence. But you know, I'm kind of glad that that pink turned purple because my rose gold color turn to a vibrant pink and you know it matches it matches the pictures that I was doing anyway so everything happens for a reason right but just know if you use pink it's gonna turn purple I hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one